Hi guys, this video is about finding the perimeter and the area of kites. So if you own a kite at home, you know that it looks something like this. And you might also know that if you take this kite from this end and you fold it in half to the other end, you know that it folds perfectly. Okay, and so how do you find the perimeter of this kite? Well, remember, the perimeter is just all the sides added together. So it is 10 plus 17 plus this side, which is also 17, and plus 10 again. So we know that 10 plus 17 is 27. Over here, it is the same thing. 17 plus 10 gives you 27. And lastly, 27 plus 27 is 54 centimeters. Okay, and so that is the answer. In this kite, the perimeter is 54 centimeters. How do we find the area of a kite? Well, the area is just all the space within this shape. So what I'm going to do is split this shape into halves. So we still know that this side is 6, this side is 15, and this side is 8. Now, do you notice that these two triangles are the same? So it turns out that the area of a kite is the area of these two triangles added together. Now, what is the area of a triangle? It is one half times the base times the height. But since there are two triangles, we have to multiply that by two. Okay, and so which one is the base? I can tell you this is the base which is 6 plus 15, or 21. And the height is 8. So 21 times 8 gives you 168. And the final step is, if you look at this, you know that 2 times 1 over 2 is 1. So these two cancel out. And so the area is 168 centimeters squared. Let's do one more example. So go ahead and find the perimeter and the area of this kite if you can. So first of all, to find the perimeter, we need to know the length of these sides, but it's not given to us, so we have to find them. And if you watch my previous video, you know that we can find the length of this side using the Pythagorean theorem. And the Pythagorean theorem says that a square plus b square is equal to c square, where this side is a, this side is b, and this side is c. So a is 4, b is 3, and 4 to the power of 2 gives you 16, whereas 3 to the power of 2 gives you 9. 16 plus 9 gives you 25, and to solve for c, all we need to do is take the square root of both sides of the equation, and that leaves us with c is equal to 5. So this 5 is this length, is 5, and if you calculate the length of the other sides, you will get 5 as well. So this side is also 5, this side is 5, and this side is 5. The perimeter is 5 plus 5, which is 10. And 10 plus 5 is 15. And 15 plus 5 is what? Well, it is 20 centimeters. And so the perimeter of this kite is 20 centimeters. To find the area, I'm going to split the shape into halves. And so we know that this is Three. this side is also 3, and the height of this triangle is 4. So remember, the area of the kite is the area of these two triangles. And the area of one triangle is 1 half times the base 
times the height. But since there are two triangles, we need to multiply it by two as well. And so we know that the base is this side, which is six. The height is four. Six times four gives you 24. And on the left side, two times one over two is one. And so the area is 24 centimeters squared. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, can you find the perimeter and the area of this kite? So go ahead and find the answer and then put it down in the comment sections below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. With that being said, I hope you have a good day and I will see you guys in the next video.